Hello friend, welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. This will be a very quick video for someone who owns Volkswagen vehicle and wants to work on his rear brakes. I will show you tools and importantly special tools you need to perform these tasks. And to remove the caliper, right, which is a very beginning it was held by two bolts right here on these sliding pins so you need a 13 millimeter wrench for this and you will be holding it contra so it's not spinning and that's a 15 millimeter wrench actually I have them sitting side by side right right here so you can see the pads if you are going to order them in my case the ones which were on the piston on both sides were super thin barely nothing left right when the other ones were good so I removed that without filming it sorry the piston got released right you can put it on the side and these were just a normal tools but now it's coming you cannot just push this piston back as on the other vehicles like Subaru or Toyota you will destroy the parking brake mechanism which is basically part of this and that's where it starts right special tools so you need and you can see it in the action I already started you need to push the piston in while you rotating it I will just show you in the second so you here see the tool set up it's coming out of this set I believe I bought this in the past the Harbor Freight right so you can see the picture and this is the special tool which you need to replace the pads right so that was the first situation let me show you how it works I will put the camcorder on the tripod hopefully this camera setup it will show you so not only the piston it's going inside of the caliper right but it's also rotating observe this shiny part right and that's the purpose of the tool do you see it I'm, I'm sure you see it right so it's coming in and that's the only correct way failure to do it this way you will destroy that parking mechanism which is inside and the complete system will not work and you will have to buy complete new calipers so please don't try to skip this and just press in the piston there will be a huge mistake costly mistake in the future right so now you see I have to be careful about this seal right you don't want to rip it so you need to be observing everything now you see how you press it in so that was for the brake pads but what about if you wanna remove also the rotor maybe the rotor is bad and you wanna go further in this brake repair what other tools you will need so first it's pretty common and it's a Torx T30 and that's for here right so it's a six point Torx T30 that will allow you to remove this screw and then slide the rotor away but you have to first remove this entire bracket and that's the other special tool you need and normally people don't have it to remove this entire bracket holding bracket you have to go on the back right and I will be not putting camcorder there I, it will not fit there but basically that's the problem you need a 12 point m14 to release those two bolts right. i call for myself this 12 point torx but probably a better name for it correct name when you will be looking for a tool like that it's called triple square bit right so that's what you need and in this case this is 2007 Jetta 2.5 liter this is M14 size so now if you are the owner of the Volkswagen vehicle right anything from the lineup 
within these years, right? It gets more complicated with those electric brakes and so on. That's a different story. But if you are in this ballpark of these generations of Volkswagen, you can prepare yourself for your rear brake job. These tools are not needed in the front. It's completely different, right? It's complicated because it has that parking brake special mechanism. I wish I could have filmed the whole thing for you, but I'm totally not having time for this. So I just wanted to help you out with this quick video. Uh, thank you for watching and make sure you are subscribed. I will have way more about this Jetta on this channel coming soon. See you later, my friend.